This is really why losers want to see you lose. Driven Mofos, welcome back to another episode of The Underestimated Entrepreneur. So I was just chilling, scrolling through social media, and I noticed that a guy who used to be part of our community back many, many years ago, back when we didn't have the culture that we have now, I saw him comment on someone else's post who was part of the community. Anyway, I thought I'll go check out, see what he's been doing. And I noticed that he used to follow me and I've been unfollowed. Now, look, I'm not butthurt about it or anything like that, but it just made me think of this guy and why that would be the case. Now, I see this happen quite a lot, right? Now, this guy was always bitter, was always envious of others around him. He would criticize people around him, judge people a lot, but he had a really fucked up life, as in he had a lot of relationship problems, he had a lot of family problems. It was almost like he was a walking shit magnet, right? Now, you probably know people who are walking shit magnets. Hopefully, you're not one, (laughs) but if you are, you're probably in the right community if you want to fix it. If not, then you're probably in the wrong community. But look, he was just a walking shit magnet. I thought about it for a second, really. I didn't let it sit on me for too long. What I realized is that people like that normally are, they're very envious of other people. So what most people don't realize is that envy also creates a lot of disdain towards other people or a lot of anger and criticism and judgment. Because if you think about this, right, if you're scrolling through social media and you don't give a shit about somebody, you just don't worry about it, right? You don't comment, you don't do anything. But people who normally criticize or judge, they're doing it for a reason. And they're normally doing it for a reason because it's triggered him in some way. And this just made me really think about this person, right? And I just wanted to share it as an episode. To me personally, to be honest, I don't really care. And I'm sort of, there's part of me that isn't really bothered whether he's in the community or not in the community. You know, I wish him all the best. I hope that he does great. But it just made me think about the type of personality that he was. And he used to judge a lot of people in the community, especially anyone doing better than him. And this is something that I say consistently in the community is that when you live with high standards, those with low standards will always try to pull you down to their standards. If you're living with high standards, you try to pull people up to your standards. So if you're a good business owner, you will pull people up to your standards. And you will hold the team accountable to your standards. If you're a shitty business owner, you will lower your standards and let people get away with stuff because you're trying to get their acceptance. You're probably afraid. You're scared. You're afraid that if you hold them accountable that they'll leave. And so you will lower your standards down to their standards. And then you will eventually have shitty standards and a shitty business. But also a lot of people who are afraid of criticism and judgment will lower their standards to fit in with people around them because they're afraid of being judged and criticized. The reason why I bring all this up is because this person used to use criticism and judgment of others. He was very heavily critical. He didn't like anyone else around him succeeding. And if it did, it triggered him and he'd get frustrated and he'd be angry all the time and he'd be emotional. But these are the people that you have to be really aware of when you're achieving or when you want to do better. Now, I know that every one of you know people like this. You'll know that when you want to step up, someone's going to criticize and judge you. You know that person. Losers want you to lose because they're used to losing. So they're going to pull you down to their standards. Just remember that your job is to keep elevating your standards because you inspire people around you to want to step up and want to grow. But also it'll be counterbalanced by those who have low standards who want to pull you down to their standards. So please remember that You're always going to be surrounded by people who want you to lose, who want you to fail, and they're going to be the first people to celebrate when you do lose. And you will lose, right? We all lose. I have failures. I make mistakes. I fuck shit up. I do the wrong thing all the time. I'm human, right? This is how we learn. The difference is is that when you're driven by learning, you're driven to be your best and you're driven to grow, you will learn from those mistakes. You'll stay on your feet and you keep moving forward. Whereas the losers are so afraid of losing that they become losers just by default. Don't worry about those people. Don't be scared of those people. Yes, they're going to criticize you and judge you. That's part of their game. Just don't play their game. Play by your rules. Play by your standards. Also, as you elevate your life, you're going to inspire people. No one really looks at a dropkick and says, I want to be like that guy, unless you're doing worse than that person. But people are inspired by other people who have nice cars, nice houses, great bodies, who are great leaders, who are great individuals, who help others, who communicate effectively. Like when you have high standards in life, other people naturally look up to you and you help them raise their standards. But unfortunately, most people in our society, and I would assume 
that you probably have part of yourself that does this, where you will lower your standards to fit in around other people. If you do that, you are going to hate yourself. You're going to lower your self-worth, lower your self-confidence, lower your self-belief because you want to fit in and you're avoiding the criticism and the judgment of them. But by doing so, you are going to increase the amount of judgment and criticism that you have on yourself because you know the standard that you want to operate by. You know whether you're doing effective. Remember that losers celebrate your loss only because they can't celebrate their own wins. So they have to celebrate some way. And so losers always celebrate by the loss of others. When other people lose, they celebrate. When winners are winners, they celebrate their wins and they celebrate the wins of others. They don't celebrate the losses of others. That's the loser's game. So remember, team, keep your standards high. Keep pushing hard. Don't get pulled back by those types of people because losers always want you to lose. But winners want you to win. That's why this community is fucking epic because this community is full of winners. This community, if you ever come to my events, it's full of winners. It's full of people that want to achieve. And you know what? Winners don't always win. In fact, winners lose more than losers, right? I'll say that again. Winners lose more than losers. It's just that they keep pushing forward. And eventually they get a bigger win. And then that bigger win, they will lose again for a while and then they'll have a big win again. But they're consistently progressing. Winners progress. Losers stay stuck. They stay stagnant and they celebrate the losses of others because it's the only way that they can celebrate in life. So don't be afraid of copying a loss. The greatest players in history lose more games than they win. That's just part of the game of being a champion. Okay, It's just the way that winners win is the reason why they're winners. Because they celebrate other people winning. If you have a look at all the greats, they acknowledge people who do well around them. They acknowledge other teams that play great. They just get better though because of those other teams. They raise their standards. If you have ever watched the documentary TV series on the Chicago Bulls or Michael Jordan called The Last Dance, Michael Jordan, when he came back from his retirement and he started playing again, he was filming Space Jam. You'll probably remember this if you've watched it. He was filming Space Jam, but he sent out a message essentially to everybody who was a good player in the NBA, and he invited them down to play with him because he wanted to up his game. He knew that the standards that they were playing at would push him to elevate his standards. Winners want to be around other winners because they know that it elevates their standards and it gets the best out of them. Losers, that's not what happens. Losers try to push other people down and try to push it below the level that they're playing at. So they try to drown other people around them because they feel like they can survive if they drown everybody else. The problem is, is that they never become good at swimming. So eventually they're going to drown. That's the loser's game. Don't play that game. Driven mofos, have a great day. Keep kicking ass. Keep your standards high and keep winning. This is your season to win. New year, stay winning. Stay driven. Most people waste their life and I just don't want you to be one of them.